Hi Capricorn and welcome to your daily tarot advice. <clears throat> this is going to be for the week of November 12th through November 18th and instead of doing a daily video for all signs for daily advice, I'm going to try and do one video for each sign and then just do each day in this one video. So I will pull a card for every day this week and um and then pull some oracle cards. So I feel like you'll get more information because I'm going to give you a daily read and then kind of tie it all together for a story for the week. So Capricorn, let's see what this week holds for you. <clears throat> all right. So Monday the 12th, we have the Page of Swords. So it looks like uh, communication being brought to you or new ideas coming your way. Ooh, nice. And then Tuesday, we have the sun. So um, this is a good day. We're happy. We are enjoying ourselves. This could be healing even for some of you, just depending on, you know, what you got going on in your personal life. But um, also, some things may absolutely come to light on Tuesday that you've been wondering about. And then on Wednesday, the 14th, um, we have the Temperance card, which is um, also card 14. So I like that synchronicity. And um, this could also be attached to a Sagittarius. But this is like uh, things coming into balance, understanding. So Monday, we're having communication or we're receiving new ideas, seeing things in a different way. Tuesday, there's healing or something's coming to light. It's a good day. You're feeling happy you're feeling energized everything's just working out for you Wednesday the 14th um, you know to me it's like things are in balance and in flow but this is a general reading so if you feel out of sorts in any capacity you're best served to really keep things in balance for yourself or this could indicate that you're kind of like a mediator on Wednesday Thursday, look at this, we have the High Priestess. So this is a day of following your gut, following your intuition. Um, also, you may be really filling somebody in a soul way on Thursday. Friday, we have this King of Swords. So this could represent an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this could be the persona that you need to take on, which is, um, you know, being very logical, being in your head, like more the higher mind, analyzing from that place rather than getting caught up in your emotional body and making decisions from there. It's like, be logical, um, be rational, really analyze things um, quite detached. Don't let your emotions persuade you. So it's like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you've got to keep your faculties in balance. Um, you know, I'm all about following your heart, but whatever you have going on this week, it's more like trust your intuition and then really rationalize in your mind. Like, from past experience, from logic, from common sense, from knowledge, you know, whatever it is for you. Just don't let emotions dictate or make your decisions for you because I feel like in the long run, you um, you will be sorry for that. Like, Because um, sometimes our emotions can trick us a little bit. So just keep that in mind this week, whatever you have going on. Don't let anybody put, tug at those heartstrings if they do not deserve to do so or if they're doing so for selfish reasons. Now here um, Saturday the 17th we have either something returning into your life um, or something leaving. So you know um, because we do have the sun here on Tuesday perhaps some of you are on a trip or you know taking a few days off of work um, and then, you, you know, going away and here you are returning on Saturday, returning home, returning to your spouse, returning to a friend, returning from a retreat. Um, or this could be where you are making a decision on Friday <clears throat> and you decide to like marinate on it overnight 
And on Saturday, you're either deciding to walk away from something or you're deciding to <clears throat> return to something. Now, this is a general reading, so you have to apply that how it truly fits for you, all right? I mean, some of you, that might not even mean anything. All right, and then on Sunday, we have this Three of Swords. So, um, I'm just going to pull the next card. All right, so I pulled another card just because... I was like, what's this Three of Swords about as a, like, clarifier? So, um, if you're deciding to walk away from something, Capricorn, it's definitely going to bring you some sadness. But it's almost like you're deciding to walk away for a new beginning for yourself. And for many of you, this could be, you know, job or career related where you are deciding to take a position at a different company and, um, you know, it's a really hard decision and that's why you can't let your emotions get involved because your heart will tell you to stay due to your connections and history, but your mind is like, and your spirit is like, no, it's time to go. There's this new beginning for you. Okay. So Capricorn, um, whatever decision you have to make, whether it's work related relationship, just personal in your life, whatever do it from your spirit and your the logic of your higher mind don't let the emotions persuade you uh very most important message so let's pull some more cards here to gain more insight about this all right so we have peace. That's nice. Like I said, this is nice energy for Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We have the um, super moon attraction. Again, very nice energy. Card 44, master number. And then here we have the realization, a waxing crescent moon one. So this is the moon phase that comes right after the new moon. And we just had the new moon in Scorpio on the 7th of November. So that energy is uh, definitely working with Capricorn this week. And you know, what I see is <clears throat> Capricorn, there's some opportunity coming to you this week. There's some idea that just comes into your intellect somehow, some way. And it's like creating uh, a place where you have to make a choice this week. And you're weighing your options. You've really got to balance things. And that's why it's saying, you know, don't let your emotions get in the way, especially with the super moon here. There could be a lot of emotion involved. But with realization, it's like there's this new opportunity. And with the Empress, you know, clarifying that three of swords, it's a very positive opportunity <clears throat> that lies ahead for you, Capricorn. And, you know, even if it, it will bring some heartache and some sadness to leave some things behind, it's truly in your best interest. And I just want you to notice this. This is card three. This is card. This is three of swords and empress is, you know, card number three. So you have this three theme going on and one, two, three of them. So it's like one is the start two, something comes together, and then three, it's like ready for the next step. It goes to the next level, and that's where you're at this week. Capricorn, um, some of you deeply in introspective mode. It's like you know what you want, and it's not so much, I think, your sadness. It's the sadness of others that you're worried about by a decision that you're making. Um, they're just it's going to make them sad or they may not understand, but ultimately Capricorn, it's in your best interest for the long run that you do what's right for you. <clears throat> Don't let your emotions or anybody else's emotions get in the way of that because it looks quite positive and it's, you're going to come into this, like you're really going to understand it in your soul and you're going to know what you need to do it's going to feel like a very strong urge a very strong pull and you know with this some of you it may be that you've had a hope about something um to get back with the person or to go on a trip or 
to work at a certain place or a promotion, you know, just something, whatever it is for you personally. And on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, you, there may be some things that come to light that you were not aware of about that person, that situation, that opportunity, okay? And you go through the week and by week's end, you realize maybe what you are reaching for isn't so much what you want or what's better for you. And there may be new opportunities, like three, that show up. And you're like, you know what? What am I holding on to this for? What am I waiting around on this for? Because look at what's being offered to me right now up ahead. And these are very positive. So Capricorn, I feel like some of you are leaving something behind that is not of your favor that's not the best for you and you come into that realization because on the 16th Friday Mercury goes retrograde and it goes retrograde in Sagittarius so that's ninth house that's higher learning that's higher spirituality and that to me is where this realization is coming into play now because this is general Capricorn Somebody could be returning back into your life on Saturday and letting you know they want a new beginning with you. They're very sad. They've come into deep realization about um, just what's happened or what was said, what was done, etc. And you're being offered some sort of apology or opportunity or second chance. Now, this is, you know, general, so perhaps this is you coming to this conclusion about somebody else and coming to the realization that you want to offer them a second chance um, or that you desire they give you a second chance for whatever happened but it looks like whatever the outcome Capricorn very positive and in your favor so great week overall um, remember to use your logic and your spirit trust your intuition something is manifesting this week and you know <clears throat> you're going to have a deeper understanding and comfort and peace of mind than I feel that you've had in quite some time so those are your messages Capricorn I'm wishing you all the best take care